So Unra, guys, you guys would have heard some heavy, heavy developments as far as Unra. Just to explain, um, <clears throat> 20 nations have basically froze all funding to the United Nations Right Wing Association. And wait, 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 wait a second, Jay. What is the Right Wing Association with UNRWA? Oh, sorry. So it's a branch of the UN that basically sees to the refugees of Palestine, Lebanon, uh, Yemen, and one or two places in the region. This is basically a, a, a refugee organization that has been around for 75 years. And yet um, there's still refugees. Yeah. So basically the reason why these guys have pulled their funding, UNRWA, guys, is the main aid agency um, for the Palestinian people in Gaza, in the West Bank as well, specifically, uh, mainly Gaza. They control a lot of the... So when your country basically gives money to Palestine, gives money to this, to that, there's organizations that administer that funding. And UNRWA is one of them. UNRWA receives about a billion dollars a year in funding, in, in aid assistance. From, this is from the U.S. Death to America! It's from the U.S. It's from a whole lot of other nations that, that feel for the Palestinian situation and want to see their quality of life improve. Hence, they donate these figures. Okay? Now, at least 12 members of UNRWA have been found to have been a part of the October 7th uh, Hamas terror attack on Israel. And that is a big problem. Because UNRWA is not even... UNRWA is not supposed to be political. UNRWA is supposed to be apolitical. Yet, there are factions in UNRWA that are so biased towards terror... It's basically, they're terrorist sympathizers. And then within those factions, you have actual terrorists. And this has brought up some huge, huge alarm um, in the international community because they're like, we can't keep fucking funding you guys if you're doing this. So, like I mentioned, a couple of them were involved in that. Um, UNRWA basically look after about 5.9 million people in that region. So that's generally what they're looking. Funds, of course, over a billion dollars or so. Now, some of the accusations that have been hurled at them, and this is not from Israel. This is from the UN Watch. Uh, the, Un <laughs> the United Nations Watch Group, um, which does is headed by an Israeli. Uh, but <laughs> they <laughs> it's the UN Watch. And this is stuff they've been saying for years, okay? They've basically accused UNRWA of having a staff complement of about 10% of UNRWA's Gaza employees or aid workers. So that's about 12,000 people, 10%, about 1,200 members. Uh, <clears throat> the UN Watch is saying that about 1,200 of UNRWA's 12, 13,000 um, aid workers in Gaza are either Hamas or Islamic resistance members. Furthermore, about 50% of their total workforce in Gaza, so about five, 6,000 people, are one removed family members from Hamas or Islamic resistance fighters. Now, if you understand the de demographics of Gaza, it makes sense. Because, I mean, the average family size is, I think, about 35. They got, they got some big families there, so... The chance is, if you're in a family of 12 people, right? If I was in a family of 12 people, chances are one of them are a fucking Hamas sympathizer. You know, it's, it's a numbers game. <laughs> what they also found was that um, UNRWA members celebrated the October 7th attack to the point where forensic investigations, they discovered a telegram group. I don't know how you discover a telegram group. It's apparently not telegram, supposed to be. Telegram's a message in... But it's supposed to be like privacy. Remember when everyone was like, fuck WhatsApp, it's go, go to Telegram brother, and Signal. And now the government was able to find the Telegram chat. But it's, I guess it's a public group or whatever the fuck. This group had 3,000. Not UNRWA members. UNRWA teachers, guys, teachers who were on that group. And on the 7th of October, when the attack took place, Pretty much all lost their shit, 
started celebrating like we saw a lot of people doing in streets, universities, fucking offices. It, it was embarrassing. Now, apparently, some of the other <laughs> allegations, right? So, apparently, they have an arrangement, um, it's alleged, to provide Hamas with aid. Um, there were one or two reports, I mean, there's a couple reports, actually, but one or two reports that were confirmed by UNRWA, where Hamas had basically hijacked aid that was meant for them to distribute to civilians. And that report was then smothered. Tweets were deleted, all of that type of shit. Since then, UNRWA members have not been able to access this facility, this warehouse where the aid was going into. And again, it's alleged that since that, they've kind of come to an arrangement with Hamas where they're giving them certain aid, fuel, those kind of things. UNRWA is basically keeping Hamas alive. So those were all the allegations that were made, right? Now, yeah, here's some of the findings. So three UNRWA employees were summoned on the night of October 6th. One employee provided logistical support. One, one established dude an operation. basically was using Google Maps for them and planning routes. And you need to understand, UNRWA has access to everything because they're supposed to be apolitical. They have access to everything. All information, all entries, all of that type of stuff. On top of that, they are under the veil of the United Nations. So please just think about that. One established an operation in this room on October, October 8th, and the attack was celebrated in a telegram group containing at least 3,000 of their teachers. Horrible. Terrible. Teachers. People that are supposed to be educating a place like Gaza where like half the people there are children, dude. Like <laughs> half the people in Gaza are children. And you got the teachers that are teaching them celebrating this kind of behavior. All of this is confirmed, by the way, with proof, forensic shit. Two Israeli hostages testified that they were held in the homes of the UNRWA um, as the teachers and one hostage moved between the UNRWA facilities. Now listen to that. If you don't believe Israel, if you don't believe me, if you don't believe Hamas, if you don't believe the children of Palestine, etc., at least believe the hostages. Over 130 of them are still being kept by Hamas and its related fucking terror factions. A couple of them have been released. Thank God for that. Please believe, please believe their testimony. Why? Why would a why would a hostage, right? This person just went through the worst fucking ordeal of their life. Why would that hostage lie lie about being moved between UN buildings, where there's a big UN on the front, and on the inside there's like paraphernalia, and even to the point where they were in teachers' fucking homes, dude. Teachers' homes. UNRWA had fuel stolen from Hamas as early as the October 13th. They had not yet had access to facilities, facilities since. This yeah. is all confirmed by UNRWA, and there was a Raven tweet that ne it never happened. 100%. And if we look at the reaction to this, so again, oh, the information war, right? Ba, 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 ba. Reaction? UNRWA fires nine of the employees mentioned in these accusations. UNRWA threatens... Uh, legal action against the employees that were mentioned against these allegations. Obviously, long-time UNRWA critics weren't surprised by this reaction at all. Jay, why do you think that is? Because they're all Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> I am a member of the CCP. <laughs> like, it's pretty much the reason why they weren't surprised is because they're all members of the CCP. You know, <laughs> the CCP is the all-knowing and all-loving eye of planet earth okay jay do you think you can defend a aid organization like this in the, in the future you know what i mean in the future 12 out of, in the future 12? not at all but yeah the concern is that we are not in a situation where we can afford to take our eyes off the present in the future fuck no all of you guys go live in the mountains please leave us as civilized people alone Please leave the teachers of Gaza that want to teach proper curriculums. Stop poisoning the children with anti-Semitic rhetoric. <clears throat> Example. You all did science, some of you. Most of you know who Isaac Newton is, right? 
You know his uh, law of, I think it's, is it relativity? Re- Re- I think it Relative. is relativity, yeah. Yeah, it is. And guess what the image, the illustration they have to explain it is? Are you going to put it up here so everybody can see? I shall. It's <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful little Palestinian kid. Hiding behind a wall, throwing a rocket at an IDF member. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty relative in today's age. You and your fucking sharpness. <laughs> Bro, that's in the textbook, dude. I'm, 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 that's like in the text. It's a picture. Okay, pictures with a thousand words, guys. So that's just one of the things with UNRWA. But like I was mentioning, you know, as far as the defunding and freezing the funding, UNRWA as an organization is, is extremely compromised. But even in their compromised state, they are still the largest aid organization in Gaza. And we are currently amidst a humanitarian crisis. So let's take it on face value, okay? 13, oh, give me a second. Please be fucking cool. 13 people were involved. They were terrorists, okay? That's out of 13,000 people. All right. So the the 99 at face value, 99.9% of the people are good. All right. Now, I'm not uh condoning their their <coughs> curriculum that they're teaching people, but at the moment we have problems that far supersede curriculums. These children aren't going to school because they don't have a school to go to. They don't have homes. They don't have sanitation. They don't have hydration. They don't have warmth. They don't feel safe. Apparently, 20,000 children are fucking orphans. You know what I'm saying? So, even if 10% of the aid is being stolen for Hamas currently, I don't think immediately stopping that aid right now and freezing funds right now will help the situation at all. I think it'll just plunge Gaza into unthinkable fucking treachery. Now, having said that, I'm not saying just keep indefinitely funding these dudes. The UN have come out and said, hey, if, if you, for example, decide not to fund UNRWA, send that shit this side. Guess who else came up? The World Health Organization. You know, they always like a handout, dude. They're like, hey, fuck. You know, I know we, we do corona, but we, we, can, we can teach children. We can teach the kids. So there are a couple organizations that are putting their hands up. There are other organizations in Gaza that can administer it. But a cold turkey freeze of funding, it has to be a transfer. There has to be an overlap period where you at least prep and, and gear up other organizations to take this burden from UNRWA whilst UNRWA is then taken to court, dismantled, all of that type of stuff happens. But we can't afford a hard stop when it comes to the aid in Gaza, guys. It's, this is bigger than ideologies. This is the literal starvation of, of people. The, the literal starvation of people. Thank you for watching this clip from the OG session. For the full episode, visit the It's Friday Forever YouTube channel. Whilst you're there, subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you're notified whenever we drop new content. And I'll catch you in the next one.